Say you're sorry! Sorry! Action! Oh. Act like you're doing something important. Jefferson! <laughs> bring No, I need the papers now. <laughs> is uh -huh. yesterday now? No, today is now. Tomorrow is yesterday. <laughs> Jefferson, just bring me the hold on. I'm getting I'm getting a conference call. What's that? No, Jefferson's a Jefferson's a dingbat, okay? Uh, what were you really gonna say? <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't sure. Oh, shut up. I'm talking to Jefferson. I'm like, I'm gonna need Daddy's the papers so on my desk by this evening, or else I'm, or else you're fired. Daddy's silly. Hey, who's face. Jefferson? So, Arjun is playing. Austin's pretending to talk on the phone to Jefferson. And Arthur is sleeping as usual. Arthur, you guys. Um, yeah. So about Arthur. Do we have some poop problems? You explain what happened with our Arthur. Well, guys, um, Arthur pooped himself this morning, and Mom and Dad had to clean it up. <laughs> Wait, what else happened? Well, guys, ugh, Audrey, you have to move your mouth so Mommy can move your mouth. Well, guys. Arthur pooped in his cage, and then he, like, laid in it, and it was stuck all over his body. And then he pooped! <laughs> we were in the vlog the other day, we mentioned something like, oh yeah, it smells, or is it the vlog? I don't know. Yeah. We said how it smells, and we had to keep closing the windows. I'm pretty sure he was farting, Yeah. and the wind, both windows were open, and yeah. air was coming through and bringing his farts into the room. <laughs> No, because, he was in the room. He was in the room. Well, but either way, it was making his parts oh, whipped around. Well, guys, let's just say um, it's he, the food. he had some tummy problems. I actually felt really bad because this morning, okay, early this morning at like 6, I was up feeding her, and he was whining, and so I took him out, and he peed, and he pooped, and um, so I thought he was good or whatever, and usually if he goes out, he doesn't need to go out again in like two hours, so I put him in his little cage because he was just super, he was just making tons of noise, and I was really tired. And this was after I took him out. So I put him in there. Don't freak out. He goes in there sometimes. It's fine. So then this morning, I heard him. we heard him whining. <laughs> and I feel really bad because I was going to go check on him. But Austin's like, oh, he's just being stupid. Because let's not lie. Arthur sometimes is a little, Arthur bit, he's a little bit of a drama queen. And sometimes he's just randomly annoying. So we ignored him. And so I go over eventually to take him out. And I feel really bad because he had poop in his cage. And it was all over him. <laughs> Why am I laughing, Andre? It's really not funny. <laughs> <laughs> she thinks it's hilarious, too. He had poop stuck all over him, and he needed a bath. So, yeah. Fail on our part, on, on that part. And I know all of you are going to comment right now and say that we're so mean to our dog, and we're horrible. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. See, Audrey says everything's okay. What are you doing? Okay. What is all this stuff out for? It has begun, you guys. It has Are you packing? What was that? Say la vie. Farewell. Say la vie. My dear friends, <laughs> flowers to you. I wish you well. You better pack those. I mean, <laughs> I paid a lot of money for those. Guys, what? I'm really good at packing. You guys, she's like so into herself. Like she's so narcissistic. She's like, look at what I did. Look, I put this in here and it fit. <laughs> no, you are really good at packing, love. Sorry, I have to cover myself because I'm sick and I don't want to pass my germs to you. No, don't kill the people. Good morning, it's morning time where I go to Walmart and I get some stuff because we're moving and I gotta get the stuff so we can pack. So are you guys big coffee drinkers? I'm here getting coffee for, for bread. There's just thousands, thousands of different brands. I don't ever know what to get though. Well, she told me what to get, but like normally she's like, oh, give me coffee. I'm like, what does that mean? There's like hazelnut. Sweet smoker, French vanilla, orange. It's ridiculous. You coffee drinkers are kind of pretentious. You just don't know it. Because you're like, look, I drink coffee. Actually, you're not. I'm just, I'm just making that up. I don't know what I'm talking about. This is what I'm supposed to get. Maxwell House breakfast blend. Yes. I got it. It's for, you can only have it for breakfast though. Like if you drink, if you drink some past like 10 in the morning, which is really late and pushing it, you actually get spanked. It's really embarrassing. So as you guys know, every time I come to Walmart, this is what I have to do. I have to look at all their little their shirts because you know I have that one. I'm wearing that one right now. And I just have to look at all the others. I think if I was gonna get one, which I'm not, I'm not I'm not gonna get one, but let's see. This is a good one. I think that's pretty funny. It's like on the shirt so it looks like you're wearing that. That's a good one. That made me laugh. Um I get that one. I don't even really like Captain well Captain America's alright. I don't know, it's just not that great. 
And then, I don't know, that one's kind of cool, but I mean, I already ball so hard and it's really obvious to people, so I don't know why I need to tell them I'm a shirt, but I don't know. Anyways, um, I got, got coffee, I got packing tape so now Britt can pack and be happy and do her thing, and now, I don't know what I'm going to do. <sighs> you guys, why, like, do people just think, I, I don't know, I guess there's a, just a ton of stupid people in the world, like, Ever since, uh, like, we've been trying to sell Britt's car, right? Because we're not taking it out to L.A. And ever since I put it online, like, I just get the dumbest, like, fake, you know, requests of people. Like, I just had someone contact me on where I listed it. And then they were like, oh, uh, yeah, I, uh, they're like, I'm really interested or whatever. And then they're like, so, you know, can I just get your, you know, your information, I'll have an agent come pick it up. I'm like, first of all, this is a 1998 CRV. No one is going to be having agents come pick pick up the car. You know, like no one. That just doesn't happen. Uh, secondly, and then so so then they're like they're like, yeah, I'll just need you know your name and your PayPal email. And I'm like, all right. So I just go ahead and I give that to him, knowing that yeah, this is probably like I'm 99 percent sure that this is fake. So I send them that, you know. And so then they're like, oh, uh, a problem just came up. Um, I tried sending the money through PayPal. It wasn't working. What, what I'm going to need to do is, is send you an extra amount of money, but you're going to have to wire it back to me through this. Wi I, don't need, I didn't even read all of it because I'm like, okay, I know, I know what this is. Like, I already knew what it was, but, you know. But it's like, do people really do that? You know what I'm saying? Like, like they're literally like, yeah, so I'll need to send you this, but you'll have to send me this back. You know, so I'm gonna need fifteen hundred dollars through this this wire or this uh, money. I don't even know. It's just stupid. It's like, what do people do? People think I'm dumb. You know, like do people? Do, how many people actually? That's really what I want to know. Is how many people actually get duped in, into this kind of stuff? You know, like never give out money to someone without knowing all the facts about it or knowing that they actually exist. You know, I don't know. It's just dumb. People are stupid. That's really the the bottom line. People are dumb. Oh my glory, guys! Look at this outfit, man. <laughs> hey. Hi. Hi. <laughs> look at this little shoes. Say, Mimi and Papa bought me this. Thanks, oh guys. man, you look super swag. Thanks for styling me. You look super swag for days. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh man. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> oh, oh man. Oh, she's blinking. She's like, Dad. That's not healthy for my head to do that. And Dad, did you just get out of the shower? Because you smell a little bit better because you smelled kind of like a big pile of Cheeto poo. Ew. I need what? a shower. Ew, don't look at me. Your turn? Ew. Go get in the shower. Don't look at me, guys. Wow, wow, You should probably take a shower every four I seconds. You're so cute. Give everyone a kiss. Mwah! Did you give them a kiss? Say, mwah! She wants to punch Ooh, them open in mouth. The face. Open mouth kisses already? Gross. You guys, me and Audrey are watching YouTube videos and it is so cute. Alright, let's see if she's still out there. She, she always follows me, so she's probably looking for me. We'll see. Uh -oh. <laughs> you decided not to watch YouTube while I wasn't there. Whoa, what's this? Oh man. Oh YouTube? What do you think? What do you think? Aji must not be a very interesting video. <laughs> Seriously though, sometimes if we just like sit her down and we're watching it, she'll sit there and watch it. Like, she likes to watch screens. You're so cute. We're already making you watch TV. Wow, we're great parents, huh? That's you guys, we're diva. dealing with some serious diva esqueness right here. <laughs> this chick. I gave her her bassy. I kept trying to put it in her mouth and she kept spitting out yelling at me. And then I let it go and she looked what she does. She wants to put it in herself. Really, right now? <laughs> you just put it in yourself because you're a little booger stain? She's like, no, Cute mom, little booger. I do it by myself. I don't need you. Mom, mom, I, I, I do it myself. I do it myself. We're here in Trader Joe's and I always feel scared. <laughs> I'm literally like all. I'm judging him. I don't know why. Because he doesn't eat healthy. I don't know. It's just something about, like, I don't know. Yeah, I think I think everyone knows that I don't eat healthy. Excuse no, me. No one does. You get your quinoa. I, I don't even know what quinoa is. I literally. What is it? Quinoa is a grain. What does that mean? It's high in protein. Do you know what grains are? Like wheat? Nah. 
<laughs> okay, see, quinoa, pronounced quinoa, was a staple of the ancient Incas who called the mother grain. It remains as an important staple in South America's cuisine as it contains more protein than most other grains. Its delicate flavor makes it a great alternative to rice or couscous. Couscous. That's what it is. Inca. Incas? Wasn't that what Pocahontas was? <laughs> cookie butter? What the heck is cookie butter? That seems like something you should take a bath in. Would brownie. you like to take a bath in cookie butter? I'd like to take a bath in brownie. I'd take a bath in cookie butter. You guys want to make a pumpkin pie? You guys want to make a pumpkin pie out of these pumpkins right here? Come make a pumpkin pie. Hey, you want to make a pumpkin pie? Oh, I don't make pumpkin pie. You want to make, pie. Wanna make a pumpkin Actually, pie out of that stuff? Something. I don't like pumpkin pie. I don't like pumpkins. I like pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie? Like That's pie. gross. I don't like pumpkin pie. That's disgusting. I used to eat it for Thanksgiving because I thought you were supposed to, but then I realized I didn't like it. If you were a super mom and you were super awesome, you would ride that bike and carry the kid. I don't think that'd be safe. That's the most healthy thing to do in your life. You guys, here's the thing. I I get weird in health stores. And it's your conscience is what it is. My conscience? What yes, do you mean? Your, unhealth, your conscience telling you that you're an unhealthy person and you feel bad about yourself when you go into healthy Not places. at all. It's Guys. actually, I just feel like it's like a mob of people against me. They're all like, just, you're not cool enough. He just compared the people at health food stores to the KKK. I was like, why are you so weird in those places? He was like, how would you feel if you were around the KKK? That's how I feel. No, that's what, I'm, what I was saying was, she's like, why do you feel weird? I'm like, because I feel like... Or I was like, I feel like I can't be myself in a store like that. And she's like, well, you don't care anywhere else. And I'm like, well, it's because I feel like it's a mob. And like, if I act out, they're all going to be like, ah, eat a vegetable and shut up. You're really skinny, so they probably <coughs> actually are jealous of you because they look at you and they're like, oh, look how skinny he is. He's probably eating tons of healthy food. Right. They don't realize how unhealthy you are. And I'm like, I'll have a double quarter pounder without cheese. So I was just telling her, you know, like imagine if you were around the KKK, would you act like yourself? No, you'd be afraid that you're going to get hit in the face. Adriana! <laughs> this kid! You! Literally, guys. And I'm not saying this goober. is new. She literally wants attention right now. Like, we... She's just, like, complaining. She's yeah. not crying, really. She's, she's just like, totally I fine. just want attention. She, she's totally fine. She's just... She's an attention Did grabber. Did you hear that scream? She goes, yeah. ah! She's like, Crazy. Dad, shut up talking to Mom. And... <laughs> she's not happy. That's hilarious. I don't know where she gets this stubborn attitude from at all. Not from us. Babe, what are you watching? I really like to play with fire. It's really disturbing. You guys, this is Ashley Mardell. Oh, I like her, but destroying this stuff. Scary. Which, by the way, she's really awesome. Go check her out okay. if you haven't seen her videos. The reason why this disturbs me is because it's like my fireworks fear. <gasps> That's what it is. I think I have a fear of fire. That's <laughs> what it is. I just had an epiphany. You guys know I'm really afraid of fireworks. Well, this, I watched this video, her latest video. Go back to the part where the fire is on. And it literally was giving me heart palpitations, like, when I see fireworks. I'm like, I'm sitting here, uh, like, we just put the vlog up oh. yesterday, and all of a sudden Britt's like, <gasps> I was like, what the heck? It's like, the it, fire. It makes me, oh my gosh, it literally gives me the Look feeling that I get when I see fireworks. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's not Are you scared fun. of dinosaurs and planes, too? No. Babe, I'm not kidding right now. I oh, that's I a funny just... freeze frame. <laughs> I think I just realized that I'm afraid of fire. That's You're afraid what of fire. It is. is that why? But that doesn't make any sense though, because yes, because fireworks. I'm always afraid that they're gonna explode and start a fire. Yeah, that's but why I'm afraid of them. But you're not afraid of me, and I'm super fire. Okay, even for you, that was a new low.